Hello, good evening. Day after book fair and I'm back here with what else but poetry. Tonight I bring you a very, very special poet. Poetry from Dr. Lakshmi Sri Banerjee who is my absolute favorite in terms of both the poet that she is and the person that she is. More about her from the foreword written by Dr. Professor Anita Nahal from her book, Blue Phoenix and the Other Poems. Knowing a sensitive and thoughtful person and poet such as Lakshmi Sri Banerjee is a delight and honor. Lakshmi Sri's poetry reflects her values, her life and experience, and her dreams and desires. Her writings signify her mission to bring about change in our world through a path of self-redemption and that of humanity by walking steadfastly and passionately on a road of private and universal inspiration and motivation. The first poem I bring to you, written by Dr. Lakshmi Sri Banerjee, from her book, Blue Phoenix and Other Poems, is entitled Rethinking India. This is written on the occasion of 75 years of independence. Rethinking India. Time to unroll, time to unfold, time to unravel, unweave, think, move and act. Time to reweave the looming looms of history to get our tints, our hues, our patterns right, our reality in imagination bright. Let us knit tight our fabric of truth, our sunshine legacy. Let us unwind all that which was designed to create the wrong design. We have arrived across eons of civilization, veneration, to unmold the mold of all partisan lies, wherever or whoever from, where the sea of humanity merges us with the world, our apex of brotherhood, our summit ever at the still point of history. The next poem I absolutely loved and therefore I must share with you is called Just for Poetry. So there you are just for poetry. I seek you just for poetry. I meet you just for poetry. I love you just for poetry. I wound you just for poetry. I kiss you just for poetry. I wrangle just for poetry. I'm delirious just for poetry. I'm shredded just for poetry. I'm exhilarated just for poetry. I'm in angst just for poetry. I'm in trance just for poetry. I fight life madly just for poetry. I embrace life warmly just for poetry. I am nature steeped just for poetry. I seek love's abode just for poetry. I dream of eternity just for poetry. And the next one is from her other book called The Rustling Leaves Laugh and Cry. And this one is about my favorite city. Oh, Calcutta, the city of joy and pains, my greatest blessing and bane, city of palaces and shanties, of puchkas and rose turkeys, of shimmering dreams and shattering realities, of resonant cadence and cacophony of purity and free blasphemy of merry chaos and sacred cosmos of feelings deep or skimming the glass of nightclubs hotel discs and bars of temples mosques churches and stars of grand old buildings with heritage and history of people born with music and poetry of riotous sounds and incredible serenity, of dancing moments, of memorable eternity, of heat, 
dust, love and effervescence, of ribbon, sea and gardens of fragrance, of shouting slogans and furious politicians, with hearty baffling electric dialectics, of Howrah Bridge and Victoria Memorial, of the trilling Ganga and singing boatmen, of sahibs, meme sahibs and their chaperones fine, we are a close-knit medley of life divine. The colonial culture is still there in the synchrony, but not without our native Bengali symphony. O oh, Calcutta of sweat, scent, flowers and bees, you're the world of us, we, they and me. Thank you.